Good morning. <clears throat> it's morning inspiration with Tutu. Y'all get on in here. It's morning inspiration. Get on in here and get this inspiration this morning. Come on, y'all. Charlene, good morning. <laughs> God is good, baby. You made it. Baby, you made it. You opened your eyes again. <laughs> Deontay, Jordan, Darius, Johnson. You opened your eyes again, boo. Come on in. Yes, sir. It's a great day. You hear me? And I'm excited. I woke up smiling. <laughs> I woke up smiling. And when I realized I was smiling, I'm like, why are you smiling, girl? <laughs> God is good. I woke up. When I opened my eyes, I just started smiling. What? Who does that? <laughs> the joy of the Lord is my... I woke up, Carlos. Tim, I woke up grinning. You hear me? <laughs> I am just excited. Herbert Mack, you made it. I woke up smiling, baby. Joyce Bookman, I woke up smiling you hear me i had a big grin on my face just because i woke up i mean that's something to smile about there's a lot of people that went to sleep last night baby and they didn't wake up this morning come on somebody but everybody that is joining in this live you woke up so for that reason you should you should just <laughs> you should just smile Thank you, Darius. You just need to smile, baby. Don't nobody want to see you frowning? <laughs> baby! Don't nobody want to see you frowning and going through. Girl, we all going through. But God is good. <laughs> we all going through. You ain't going through by yourself. But God is good. Tracy Davis Jones. Good morning, baby. Mm -mm. I ain't finna be doing all that frowning and stuff. God is good. We made it to see another day. I made it through another day's journey, yeah. God kept me here. <laughs> I made it through another day's journey. God kept me here. Woo! Yes, sir! I made it through another day's journey. God kept me here. Baby, I woke up with that thing in my... I made it through another day's journey. God kept me here. April Webb, you made it through another day's journey. God kept you here. Yes, sir. I made it, I made it, I made it through another day's journey. Helen Minor, God saw fit to keep me here. Yes, sir. Glenn Edwards, I made it through another day's journey. God kept me here. Yes, sir. And because of that, any day now, any day now, God will do what he said he would do. He may not come. Lynette, when you want him, but I know he'll be right on time. I'm 
any day now, any day now, God will do what he said he would do. He may not come when you want him, but I know he'll be right on time. I made it through another day's journey. Listen, God kept me here. Hey, Sharon Murphy said that I made it through another day's journey. My God kept me here. Yes, sir. Listen, I declare and decree that money comes to me. I believe that I have more than enough to be a blessing to God's people. Hey, cousin, I am prosperous. I live in the overflow. I lend and not borrow. And God takes pleasure in my prosperity. I made it through another day's journey. God kept me here. Yes, sir. I made it through another day's journey. My God kept me here. Kim Ford, it looks like you made it through. Rhonda, another day's journey. Francis Samuel, God did it for a reason, baby. He kept you here. Yes, sir. And it's by the grace of God that you're still here today. Yes, sir. Baby, I made it through. You hear me? I had to cry sometime. And I'm going to cry again. But you know what? I made it through. <laughs> Sometimes I got to cry, baby. I got to cry my way through. But God promised to wipe my tears. I made it through another day's journey. And for a reason, God has kept me here. You hear me? That thing is real to me this morning. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. I made it. His strength is made perfect in my weakness. God's grace is sufficient and his strength is made perfect in my weakness. I made it through another day's journey. Come on, somebody. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm getting to work. And I'm going to try to get out of here and be in here at least by 8.01. <laughs> but listen, I, I want to, Gilda Smith, good morning, babe. I want to encourage somebody this morning. When waiting seems like forever, sometimes we can get frustrated in waiting. But can I help you this morning? Waiting actually produces patience in you. There is a purpose for waiting. Waiting produces endurance in you. Waiting produces character in you. Waiting helps you to be patient. God has a plan, baby, for our waiting. Can I help somebody as I help myself? What, what in the world do you do when waiting feels like forever? There's four things that God gave me to help me in this season of waiting. I'm, I'm waiting on, on some things. I'm waiting on some things. And sometimes the enemy will deceive you into thinking that those things will never come to pass. But that's when you got to step it up in your faith, baby. I know, I believe that God is going to come through. Let me, let me, let me get to these four things. I, I need, I need you to be encouraged. I need you to be helped uh, uh, um, when you're going through a season of waiting and waiting seems like it's forever. The first thing I want to talk about is trust the process of God. Can I help somebody? <laughs> 
Baby, you've got to trust the process. The scripture says, you know I got to refer to the scripture. The scripture says to trust Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord. Why when you're waiting and it seems like forever, I just need you to trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. But the scripture says, in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. You've got to trust the process of God. And then number two, resist the temptation of going on about your own way. Don't try to control the situation and step out before God before the time is right. Let, let me help you. Let me help you. The scripture says there is a way. I'm hot. It's hot in here. There is a way that seemeth right to man, but its end is death. The scripture says that God had promised. This is so good to me. God had. Thank you, Deontay. God had promised Abraham and Sarah a child. Okay. The scripture says that Sarah was barren. Mm, she supposedly could not bear children. So. Because of the fact that Sarah did not want to wait on God. She did not want to trust the process of God. Let me tell you what she did. And this is what we do. Let me tell you what Sarah did. Do you not know that Sarah offered an Egyptian slave named Hagar to her 86-year-old husband to have a baby? Who does that? That is some serious... You trying to control this situation, this situation. So you're going to actually jump the gun and you're going to try to do this thing yourself. She actually wanted to control the situation so bad that she allowed a Egyptian slave woman to have a baby by her 86 year old husband. Who does that? I need you to resist the temptation to go your own way. You've got to wait on God, baby. Who am I helping? Y'all know we'll try to control the situation and manipulate the situation instead of just waiting because we get tired of waiting. But the thing is, it still came to pass. Sarah still conceived a child in her old age. But instead of waiting on God, she jumped the gun and let this Egyptian slave woman go have a, a baby by who does that but that's what happens when you get tired of waiting number three i need you to wait with courage because i'm getting out of here i need you to wait with courage the scripture says wait on the lord and be of good courage and he shall strengthen thine heart wait i say on the lord while you're waiting you need to wait with courage they that wait on the lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings as eagles they shall run and not be weary they shall walk and not faint you need to wait with courage and then the last thing you need to while you're waiting you need to make sure that you stay busy for god because when you're idle when you're idle, you get distracted. You need to stay busy and know that God is going to come through for you. But while you're waiting, baby, you need to stay busy. The scripture says not lagging in diligence, which means being persistent. Don't lag in being persistent, but be fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Can I just help you while you're waiting? These are some, some things that God dropped in my spirit that's going to help me and help you while you're waiting. Don't get frustrated in waiting, baby. Don't get, trust the process. Trust the process of God. Make sure that you don't go your own way. Be of good courage. Make sure that you stay uh, uh, encouraged. And then the last thing, can I help somebody? is make sure that you stay busy while you're waiting. That thing helped me because I, I sometimes we get tired of waiting. I, and, and I'm, baby, but, but if you get your focus right, somebody type in the comments, get your focus right. Occupy until he comes. Do what God has called you to do. Don't get so focused on receiving what you've been waiting for because you've got to know in your spirit, in your heart, that God is going to give you 
what you ask for. And you've got to know that there is a process. There is a purpose in your waiting. I got to get out of here. It's eight o'clock. I love y'all so much. Be encouraged. When waiting seems like forever, I need you to focus on those four things that I gave you. I got to get out of here. I love y'all so much. Be great today on a purpose. Now let's run on. <laughs>